The GoPro Hero 12 has incredibly good in-camera video stabilization, which not only eliminates camera shake, but can even eliminate camera rotation with the horizon lock mode. However, the horizon lock setting reduces the video resolution from 5.3K down to 4K, and it has a pretty extreme crop as well. Unless, of course, you buy the Max Lens Mod accessory that will widen the field of view, though it will still be filming at only 4K resolution. Which raises the question, should you still buy a gimbal to use with the GoPro Hero 12? Considering you can actually pick up a gimbal like this Hohem iSteady Pro 4 for the same price as the Max Lens Mod. This gimbal isn't new, it's been around for a while, but it's completely compatible with the GoPro Hero 12, and even an inexpensive gimbal like this is going to have way more functionality and use cases than just the Max Lens Mod. This keeps the GoPro level with the horizon while still filming at 5.3K resolution, and it can keep the GoPro from tilting forward and backward as well, which is something the GoPro Horizon Lock can't compensate for. The panning axis of the gimbal can also be locked so that the camera stays pointed in a specific direction, which can be useful when filming hyperlapse videos where the camera's moving a long distance and you want to keep the camera pointed in exactly the same direction over a long period of time. A gimbal is also going to help eliminate lens flare jitter. Regardless of what camera you're using, occasionally you're going to get lens flare in your video if the sun or some other bright light source is in the scene. Now, if it's done properly, lens flare can actually look really cool, but not if it's jittering and bouncing all over the place, which is exactly what happens when you're using digital stabilization. You can also use a gimbal on the end of a long selfie stick to vertically raise or lower the camera while keeping the camera level. This gimbal can be remotely controlled from the app on your phone using the joystick on the screen to point the camera in different directions. And you can even set custom waypoints so that the gimbal will repeat any motion you want when you hit play. You can also set these motions to be played back at any speed you want, so it can be used for filming motion time-lapse videos where the camera is slowly moving over a long period of time. A gimbal is also going to help you capture better video quality in low light situations. When filming in a dark environment, a camera has to use a longer exposure time for each frame of the video, and any camera shake that's happening during the exposure of each frame is going to be baked into the video, and no amount of digital stabilization can correct that. All that to say, the GoPro Hero 12 is a great camera all by itself, and I definitely don't think everybody who owns a GoPro needs a gimbal. But if you are going to start buying extra accessories in the $100 price range, a gimbal would definitely be at the top of my list of things to buy first. If you want to purchase the GoPro Hero 12 or a gimbal to go with it, there will be links in the description below.